All right, so if you just tuned in, this is Y1025 FM. The show is Rise and Shine. My name is NY DJ. Well, it's time for me to get into an editorial this morning. For the past few days, I'm pretty sure a certain conversation has been going on online, and it has to do with TV broadcaster Sewami here and some videos that have actually gotten onto the social media platforms or into the internet now it's packed a lot of controversy or should i say a lot of talk people are talking as to how the video got out and who even did that and why she has to be sleeping with um, a married man too many things are happening you know uh, the guy fritz that's henry Fritz, has also been um, talking somehow releasing certain things certain information online and a lot of blogs, a lot of people are talking about it. Well, this morning, I'm not really going to get into that. Uh, my concern has to do with something that others have raised and said that in certain jurisdictions, like Sewa well, should be put off radio, off TV, and then again, uh, she will lose some of the deals when it has to do with ambassadorial deals. Well, this morning, I'm going to look at that. People have said that she needs to lose all the ambassadorial deals. But the question is, does that really happen here in Ghana? Like something happens and because of that, the so-called celebrity or the celebrity actually loses their ambassadorial deal. I mean, I can make reference to Shatawale. You remember when Shatawale had issues and had his images and other things and was saying so many things all out there. People even called on Casa Preco to actually cancel their their deal with uh, Shatawale, but <laughs> that was when things they even tightened things with Shatawale. Uh, others have also raised concerns about how you know brands seem not to care when the people who serve as ambassadors to them do not live a setting life. And I think that has to do with morality and business. Well, do people really care? Do companies really care that much? That's another thing, but. It's, it's quite unfortunate that I have to share this, that when it has to do with the brand and ambassadorial thing, Sewami here has actually lost one of her brand ambassadorial deals. You remember somewhere in September last year, that's 2023, she was unveiled as a brand ambassador for one energy drink. Um, unfortunately, as we speak, she's no longer a brand ambassador for the company. As to whether that is in relations to the issues that is happening or what is popping on the internet and all that, that I cannot tell. But I can tell you on authority that she's no longer an ambassador for Lamborghini Energy Drink. Um, if you check Sarah's social media status or should I say her Instagram somewhere 28 weeks ago, she actually posted a picture of herself and says my all-time favorite Lamborghini is the lamborghini energy drink and um she was she actually appeared or she went to the venue in a lamborghini and people started talking on social media and say hey she's bought a new car and who bought that car for her people said so many things and she had to actually get on twitter or x to clarify and say listen i have nothing to do with the car the car does not belong to me before people start accusing me of sleeping with somebody who gave me that car or accusing me of you know, <laughs> uh, she actually went on X and said that, and for the records, I do not own the Lamborghini I was seen driving in the video circulating. It was only a prop brought by the franchise owners and I am a brand ambassador for, uh, for add a bit of color to the event. So they actually used that just to add color to that particular event. But as we speak, she's no longer a brand ambassador of this particular product i mean she's still a brand ambassador for other products but as to whether she's going to lose them because uh her video is out and there are issues around it well that we cannot know uh, we cannot say as well and with regards to updates on that particular issue with the circulation of the video and all that you remember uh, there's been a case lodged in the police station and eventually uh in the court yeah so Sewa actually reported the issue to the court, uh, to the police station and then because it is criminal, the state has taken over the charges and uh, three accused persons uh, actually have to appear before court. Unfortunately, per the police statement that we see or per the charge sheet that we are seeing, uh, Henry Fritz, the guy who is said to have been in the video with Sewa is at large, according to the police. He's at large, which means He's run away 
they're running away they're running away i don't know if he's really run away or he's nowhere to be found but per the chat sheet he is not where to be found the police have not been able to lay hold of him even though he's granted interviews and he's posting online the police say he's at large and so a number of charges have been brought against three individuals uh, these three one is henry the other happens to be the wife of henry and another person who they say were trying to extort money from Sewami here. Eventually, they actually got the money. Now, the fact is that they actually requested for 20,000 Ghana cities from Sewami here so that they wouldn't leak the video. Sewa eventually succumbed and paid the 20,000 Ghana cities to these individuals, but the individuals still allegedly release the video which has been a topic under discussion for a long time on social media the issue has been brought uh, i saw the a brief charge sheet which the police are actually raising and i mean the lawyers are talking that i will allow the lawyers talk as to whether the issues they are raising can actually be raised in a circuit court as to whether the circuit court has jurisdiction over the charges that are being brought or it has to be a high court but what i saw it is a circuit court but if you are looking at the charges that are being brought against them some of them will have to be heard in the high court and not in the circuit court so issue of jurisdiction is also coming up that i will allow the lawyers to talk about it but for now that is it we say why him i mean here um she's lost an ambassadorial deal with lamborghini energy drink there are a number of others that she has as well People are calling and saying that, listen, whatever she's done is very immoral. But the fact is, hey, morality and the law, morality and business, well, whatever these brands decide to do with her, that is their own business. As to you being a buyer, would you stop buying the product because she's a brand ambassador? Or you continue to buy because she's a brand ambassador? That I leave to you. So that's something for you this morning. YFM, YFM.